What's up, you guys? How y'all doing? This is my first video of, for UH Men's Basketball for 2024-25. And after a season in 2023-24, where University of Hawaii finished fourth overall in the Big West, but got the three seed into the tournament because of UC San Diego not being eligible for the tournament, we ended up being eliminated in the semifinals, unfortunately, via UC Davis. But we're moving forward, and with UH men's basketball just around the corner, and also for women's basketball also just around the corner, with the uh, with one of the uh, class with one of the uh, rainbow scrimmages coming up, coming up this coming Saturday, I will be there. So, but I'm going to talk about something else here. So. So first of all, guys, before I do that, remember, please subscribe if you think that I'm worth listening to or if you just want to see some more of my games. I'll, I will be having one up later today. So with that being said, there's been a bomb that's been dropped as of last night, and I will do my reaction video here and now. So before I do that, guys, once again, subscribe. If you think that I'm worth listening to, that's good enough for me. Or if you just like some of my other videos. So, remember guys, subscribe. Let's get into this. I'm going to put up my banner here. That's right. University of Hawaii will be moving all sports, by the way, to the Mountain West in 2026. And I put on here, it's about time. You know why? Because this is a move that's long overdue. University of Hawaii has been part of the Big West since 2012, at least in uh, all the other sports, aside from football, because the Big West, they don't do football anymore. So UH football has been in the Mountain West since 2012, and now it looks like that all sports will be joining in 2026, because for the last 14 years, UH has had the rest of their sports affiliated with the Big West, unless, of course, you're dealing with non-conference. Now, what is this going to mean for the University of Hawaii? Nothing but good stuff, okay? Now, it's been said year after year that the Big West is nothing but a crap, is nothing but a crap conference. They only take the winner of the tournament, which is true. Which only the winner goes on to the big, or, or I should say the the dance, the NCAA basketball tournament. The Big West only takes the winner, while other conferences get as much as three to five or six bids. That's three, four, five, or six bids into the tournament. So this means that the University of Hawaii has a lot more leeway. They have a better chance of making it to the to the to the dance. Okay, now. The University of Hawaii has only won the Big West one time, and that was in 2016. And I've come across people on, on Twitter or Facebook saying that, oh, we should be winning the Big West every year. You know, just because we have a bigger facility than all the other sports doesn't mean we're the cream of the crop every year. Now, we have had some tough opponents on some other teams particularly A.J. Mitchell on UC Santa Barbara, they've been a huge title contender for winning the Big West along with Irvine, Long Beach State. And I think one time UC Davis won the Big West season. And now UC San Diego is going to be joining the Big West. And then, UC, or I should say UC San Diego, they did join the Big West. But a couple of seasons ago, their games didn't count for conference. And I actually kind of liked it that way because they were ineligible for the tournament and they were transitioning to Division One, And that meant that once, this, once the, the regular Big West season was over, you see San Diego, they were done. Their season was over. While the University of Hawaii, they, while they have not won the Big West since 2016, this coming season will be their last chance to do so. Is it going to make or break them? No, but still. For us to win the Big West at least one more time, that would be a good way to go out. 
Now, do I think that the move to the Big West is long overdue? Absolutely. Because when I was growing up and the University of Hawaii was part of the Western Athletic Conference or the WAC, as they call it, there were a lot of all-time matchups. When Riley Wallace is head coach, there were a lot of matchups between teams like Rice, Nevada, um, Fresno State, Idaho, Nev and uh, I already said Nevada, and uh, San Jose State. And, and as it turns out, San Jose State is part of the non-conference schedule. So what does this mean for UH? Nothing but good things, okay? Now, are we going to win the Mountain West? Probably not, at least, maybe at least not for the first couple of years. But if anybody can pull off the unthinkable, it's the University of Hawaii because they can find some good players. And speaking of which, we can also find some better players as well now that we're in a conference that does not, that is not really strapped for cash like the Big West does. And a lot of people have said that, you know, the Big West sucks, you know, the refs suck as well. And while I don't disagree with them, you now while I don't disagree with them as far as the refs are concerned, that's only on occasion. But the refs, they do their best, and you can't really hold them at fault if UH comes out the losers in the end. Okay. But still, the, the Big West has some high-power talent teams like Santa Barbara that the University of Hawaii has had their problems against. Now, moving conferences, is that going to help us? So-so. I mean, we are going to get some old-time matchups, and I'm sure a lot, of us, a lot of us Hawaii fans like myself just cherish those old-time memories, you know? And especially when Riley Wallace was affiliated with some of the coaches back in the day with the other schools. And a lot of the times they would, a, a lot of the times the teams that would look at a game in Hawaii, like, Oh, why not? I mean, that's the 50th state. Hawaii's got a lot to offer. I mean, going to school is affordable, but obviously there are a lot of prestigious schools out there where tuition is through the roof. Fortunately, the University of Hawaii is not one of those schools where tuition is through the roof, okay? It's affordable. I mean, who wouldn't want to go to school in Hawaii, of course? I'm sure a lot of people would say that. But then again, that's only the tip of the iceberg. There are a lot of schools out there that offer just as much as the University of Hawaii does. And while it, when it comes to certain areas of study, that's where a lot of it boils down to. Now, we've had some good players that have come to the University of Hawaii that either graduated or moved on. And, of course, the University of Hawaii has produced some local talent. Most no the most uh, notable person is – most notable is – the most notable is Samuta Avea out of Haula. But then again, we have had a lot of schools – or I should say a lot of local kids go to schools on the mainland because that's what they wanted to do. But then again, we have seen a lot of in-conference transfers, and some I think we might get. Some others do play for uh, some other mainland schools. But, I mean, is it important that we get an in-conference transfer? Not necessarily, but it will be nice to get one, though, especially considering – in the Big West, and there have been quite a bit of in-conference transfers when you're looking at other sports, like softball. But in basketball, I don't think that's ever happened before, at least on the men's side anyway. So this is only going to be good news for the University of Hawaii because we could get some more quality players. We could get some more quality schools going up against us. Now, am I going to go for a media pass for the rest of my life? Hope so. So I'm definitely going to be getting some shots at the rainbow scrimmage. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd just give my reaction to UH athletics, moving all sports to the mountain West and not just football. Now, while I think that football could use a change of conferences, unfortunately it's not as easy as, as it sounds. I mean, I'm sure the conference would have to approve of us, but a lot of the 
But a lot of it boils down to the fact that the state of Hawaii does not have a viable stadium to play in. Now, we do have T.C. Chin Complex for UH football, and that's been the home since, since Aloha Stadium was condemned in 2020. And 2020 was the last time that we would play in Aloha Stadium before moving to T.C. Ching for 2021. And the and they will be staying there until at least 2028. But I got to tell you, if the right people listened, we could have been finished building that stadium before COVID hit. But unfortunately, delays added up like credit card debt because of the corrupt politicians who, who say that, oh, a stadium's not needed, or, oh, build a stadium on campus. Now, while building a stadium on campus is a viable option, a new stadium in Halava is more likely the way to go. And now, unfortunately, one of the, uh, one of the, uh, one of the builders for the, um, for the new stadium had pulled out this past summer, which means that that's, there's only one, which means there's only one company who's going to build the stadium. But the question is, will it be done by 2028? And I sure hope so. I did my story for UHN TV on the Aloha Stadium being condemned and UH football moving to Manoa. So hopefully they will finish the stadium by 2028. But thanks to UH moving to the Mountain West, is that going to help our cause, at least in football anyway, in terms of building the stadium? No, but we are going to get some good players in all sports. And I do think that UH is going to only benefit. It can't hurt them one iota. So I hope that we can make it to the tournament. We have a better chance of making it to the dance now, we're, now that we're moving conferences. But as far as football moving to the Pac-12, I also don't see that happening because of the politicians who kept delaying the inevitable of building a new stadium. When that stadium fell into disrepair for years and years, we wanted a new stadium and everybody looked the other way. That's the unfortunate part. So thanks, guys. And remember, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will. You will see some shots from basketball this season. Will I be attending women's basketball? I don't know, but I definitely will be trying to will be trying out water polo and I will be going to softball as well. So hope so you will see some shots there and I will be doing as best as I can to get some recaps and some interviews from other players. So thanks guys, subscribe and I'll see you all later. Malama Pono folks.